CSS Cascading Style Sheet CSS stand for Cascading Style Sheet It was first developed in 1997 as a way for a web developer to define the look and feel of their web pages CSS was developed to define the look and feel of their web pages okay it was intended to allow developers to separate content from a design and layout it was developed to allow developers to separate content from their design and layout so that html could perform more more function without worrying about design and layout okay it it is used to separate style from its content okay it is used to separate style from the content what are the importance of css why we need css for creating for creating streaming website css handle handle the look and feel a part of web pages using css you can control the color of the text style of font the spacing between paragraph how column are sized and layout what background Im images images or colors are used layout design variation in display for different devices and screen sizes as well as a variety of other effects okay second one is become a web designer become a web designer okay if you want to start a career as a professional web developer okay web, de web designer if you want to start a professional career in web designer then html and css is a must skill okay you have to you have you have to know about html and css to become a web designer web control third one is web control CSS is very easy to learn and understand. Okay, it provides powerful control over the presentation on HTML document. It has, it has best powerful, okay, powerful control over the presentation of HTML document. Okay, most commonly CSS is a combination with the HTML or XHTML. Okay, fourth in fourth one is learn other languages. Once you understand the basic of HTML and CSS, okay, then other related technology like JavaScript, PHP, or Angular are become easier to understand, okay. So that that are the these are the importance of CSS. Now, application of CSS. What are the application of CSS? CSS is one of the most widely used style language over the web, okay. The following are the application of CSS. CSS save time. Okay, we we can write CSS once and then reuse same sheet in a multiple ways. Okay, multiple HTML pages. You can define a style for each HTML element and apply it to as as many as many pages as you can. Okay, so that we save our time. Page load faster if we are using css if we are using css you do not need to write html tag attributes every time okay just write one css rule of tag and apply it to all occurrence of that tag so less code means fast download time okay easy maintenance it can be easily maintenance okay to make a global change, Sim simply change the style and all element in all web page will update it automatically. So it uh, CSS is easy maintain maintainable, maintain maintainable. Okay, superior style to HTML. It gives superior style to HTML page. Okay, HTML document. CSS has a most widely array of attributes than HTML. Okay, so you can give a far better look to your HTML page in comparison to HTML attributes. Okay, multi device compatibility. How CSS applies in multi -level, um, device con uh, compatibility? Okay, 
Style sheet allows content to optimize for more than one types of devices. Okay. By using the same HTML document, different version of website can be presented for handling devices such as PDAs and cell phones or for printing. Okay. These are the application of CSS. Next, syntax of CSS. A CSS rule has two main parts. Okay. CSS CSS has two main parts a selector and one or more declaration. Okay. In the example here, H1 is a selector. It selects the H1 tag. Okay. H1 adding one. And it has declaration part here. Color is declaration. Declaration is content to uh, declaration is content to value to two component that is properties and value. Okay. It content to two component properties and value color here color is property and value is value is blue is value okay here declaration here we declare here color and its value is blue here font size is a property okay font size is a property and 12 pixel is a value okay here now uh, selector is a normally the html element you want to style okay HTML element you want to style means here color we want we want it to style our color and font size here each declaration consists of properties and value it consists of properties and value okay I have already told you the property is the style attributes we want to use okay and each property has a value associated with it okay here example let's take an example P paragraph color paragraph color is red and text line is center okay we get these types of output in the document okay here this is an html document here color is red this paragraph here paragraph this 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 is paragraph this is red and it aligns in center center of the document okay html document means here center from this side this side and this side okay center this is the basic syntax of html or css okay now types of css there are three types of css they are external style sheet internal style sheet and inline style sheet okay external style sheet if we want to apply the same style to many pages if we want to apply the same style to many pages we use external style sheet with an external style sheet you can change the look of an entire website by changing one style file one style sheet file each page must link to a style sheet using the link tag we use link tag to to link our external sheet in our HTML document. The link tag goes inside of the head section. We use inside the head section. For example, here this is head and this is head close. Head open, head close. Here link, we use link in real. Real is style sheet and tab is text slash CSS and href is my style dot css this my style dot css is a name of external style sheet okay an external style sheet can be written in any edit, text editor okay the file should not contain any html tag this external sheet does not contain any uh, contain any uh, html tag okay you style sheet your style sheet should be saved with a dot css extension okay and as example of an a uh, style sheet if file is shown below hr color is senior senior uh, paragraph margin left 20 pixel note do not leave space between properties value and units okay don't let spaces okay body background images error images slash abc dot jpg now let's go to a practical where we learn about CSS and external sheet, style sheet, okay? First of all, go to your desktop and create one folder. 
that is css css practical css practical practical okay go to your folder then create here one file for one folder for css one folder for images okay now let's open that folder in your text editor i recommended you to use visual studio code okay open file control o then go to your desktop then css practical where, where is css practical this okay open o file sorry we have to open our folder okay then 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 okay okay here we built two folder css and images okay in the now let's create a file that is index dot html okay open then html5 syntax here this is a basic syntax of html5 where title is css okay now in the css folder create a file that is um, what is the name of my style dot my style dot css with css extension okay now in the index.html now we create paragraph p paragraph this is the paragraph paragraph as one this is the ending adding okay control s okay here this is the output of adding and this is a paragraph okay now let's let's add an extra let's add a simple okay let's add external external css in our file okay then in the add section okay above the title part and this link link okay link rel rel is style sheet style sheet rel style sheet then type type is text slash css uh, then 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 rel type then href link that href is used to link link okay in the css folder slash my style dot css okay my style dot css this is the configuration then slash here. this is the configuration of style sheet okay external style sheet this is the configuration of style sheet okay now we use the open this this css file okay then paragraph we use here their paragraph paragraph this then color color red then commas semicolon oh semicolon okay control s then load your page control s reload this page okay this is a paragraph here this is in red color okay now next mm, 
then for s1 tag s1 tag text align text and center i use center here center center to s then this this will <laughs> this heading part is in center okay this is in text align center this is the simple example of external css okay this is the simple example of external css now we learn about um, internal css okay let's go to internal style sheet internal style sheet. if you want a unique style to a single document okay if you want a unique style to a single document an internal style sheet an internal style sheet should be used okay for a unique style for a unique style to a single document uh, an internal style sheet should be used you define internal style sheet in the head section of an html page by using the style tag okay for example in the head section style type is text slash css then hr for hover hr okay color red paragraph is margin left 20 pixel okay then body background image is url the images are used in the form of url okay in the style sheet okay now let's go to a practical okay this is the basic html page okay here we use this hmm, external css so, okay and this is external css i i first of all i i will comment this link okay so that i will use air internal css with this is the this is the comment okay first of all this is in first comment this external css so that we will use internal css okay this is an external this is in comment for HTML okay and this is comment for HTML we we'll learn about CSS um, CSS comment later okay now in the head section we have to use style here then this style style tag okay okay then style set then then here type type text slash CSS okay then now now for let's control s then reload first page here this is a black black color okay we will use here css for this paragraph tag okay p color color Okay. don't forget to give semicolon here okay then reload the page yeah this is the paragraph okay if you open open this file in the web server, web server then there is no need to reload this page okay i have used here server okay live server so that i don't have to reload again and again okay now this is the simple example of simple example of uh, internal css okay 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 now for s1 tag s1 tag margin 
मार्जिन टॉप ट्वेंटी पिक्चर ओके देन रिलोड द पेज हेयर दिस इज मार्जिन ट्वेंटी पिक्चर ओके टेक्स्ट लाइन सेंटर कमा सिंपल देन टेक्स्ट लाइन टेक्स्ट लाइन सेंटर ओके 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 दिस इज द टेक्स्ट लाइन सेंटर एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी पिक्चर मार्जिन ओके this is all about the internal css now last one is inline css let's go to ppt to learn about inline inline css if you if you want a unique style to a single element okay for a single element if you want a, want a unique style for a single single element then inline inline style sheet is should be used okay and inline css style loses many of the advantages of style sheet by mixing content with presentation okay to use inline style you you use the style attribute in the relevant tag okay in the relevant tag means here in the paragraph tag we use style and color is yellow and margin left equal to 20 pixel okay this is the relevant tag means we use this style in the relevant tag in the here for example in here paragraph tag okay the style attribute can contain and css property okay this style attributes contain css property now let's do practical your html file here i remove this for s1 okay so that i will use here in for s1 okay style color red red comma text align center 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 okay this is just <laughs> simple example okay then go to your page this this is the this is the effect of inline css okay this is all about the stm all about the css style sheet okay types of css style sheet now comments okay comments are used to explain your code and may help you when you are the edit the source code at a later date if if you add um, comments in your document okay then after some time if you come uh, came again to your html or your document then you will get uh, easy then you will you will feel easy to edit your code okay comments are ignored by the browser they are not run by the browser okay they are ignored a css command begin with slash strict and end with slash strict slash okay for html we use this types of comments okay okay for uh, css we use slash strict uh, begin with slash strict and end with slash strict slash okay this is all about html or css comment okay this is all about css comment next id and class selector in css okay the id selector is used to specify a style for a single unique element okay for a single unique element we use id selector okay the id selector uses id attributes of the html element id selector use id attribute of the html element and is defined with has has okay for example here this is here go to your body section okay first of all go to your body section here paragraph id this is id for paragraph para1 okay hello old okay then second this the second is paragraph this is paragraph is not affected by the style okay this paragraph and this paragraph are same but here we use id tag okay so that if you add any types of css in this id para1 then this only this hello world will be affected okay not this paragraph will be affected okay let's and then this id id equal to para1 so in the internal css okay has para1 this is the id selector okay we use for id selector has tag okay as 
so that this pair of one will be affected with text airline center and color rate okay if you run this program then you will get only this paragraph first paragraph para one will be in red color and, uh, and text line will be this hello world will be in the center of the document like this here okay less then um, we learn about class selector okay the class selector is used to specify a style for a group of elements okay for a group of elements we use class selector okay for a unique elements we use id selector unlike the id selector the class selector is most often used on a several element okay it can be used in several elements this allow you to to set a particular style for any html element with the same with the same class the class selector uses the html class attributes and is defined with the uh, dot okay this dot dot is used for uh, class selector go to your body of the document okay here as one class center okay this is the class center and paragraph is also class center we have both head and the both heading and paragraph with class center okay center line heading center line paragraph we use dot center for both both then we use for many several elements like air the air class will be center center class air is class is center center so dot center this is used for both text align will be center okay text align center let's do practical okay go to your html document okay then add remove this style part here okay remove this style part here then this is also remove this then add add many as you can okay Okay, now we use first of all we use id selector here id head one okay control s then go to your internal style sheet okay mm -hmm. style style then style type Type text slash CSS. Okay, text slash CSS. Then add as for ID selector as head one. Head one. Okay, then add. color red plus then reload the page okay this is the heading this is the heading part okay this is the example of id selector and for this id id okay there one okay control s then go to your and then pair one then text align center okay control s then this is the effect of id selector okay then next one is class selector okay now this is the then s2 this is the Heading to paragraph. This is the paragraph mm, part. Okay. Then use class letter. 
plus as e one with then class as e one control s then go to your style part okay then dot we use dot for class selector okay then as e one color blue blue then text and then left left okay yes. okay this is the left this is the heading heading part and this is the paragraph part okay here we we see both this is the effect of class selector okay mm, then like right right okay then you will see here okay now we have next about the class class selector okay you can also verify that only specific HTML documents should be affected by a class. Okay, for example, go to your body part h1 equal to center and paragraph equal to center. Okay, we use these types of class selector in the previous example so that this both both heading and paragraph will be affected. But you can specify only only one. Okay, so you you should use paragraph p dot center. This p dot class. Okay, p dot class. You will use P P for paragraph. Okay, for only for only paragraph you should use P and for class selector. Okay, for center center this center. Okay, then text align center will be affected only this this part only affected. Okay, this 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 will ignore this part. Okay, this part. Okay, let's see now. multiple style will will cascade in one okay style can be specified inside an html element okay style can be can be specified inside an html element inside the head section of a html page or in external css okay every multiple external sheet uh, style sheet can be referred in inside a single html document okay cascading order what should be cascading order okay what styles will be will be used when there is more than one style specified for an for an html element okay generally speaking we can say that all style will cascade into a new virtual style okay, style sheet by the following rules okay we can we can cascade cascade um, all the css with the following rules where is the number for high the highest priority okay means inline css high the highest priority there are four types of Style sheet means browser default. It can be default um, defaulted by the browser. External style sheet, internal style sheet, inline style sheet. Both the first priority will be inline style sheet, then internal style sheet, then external, then the browser. Okay. So inline style has the highest priority, which means that it will override a style defined inside a head tag or an in external sheet or in the browser. Means if you add external CSS for the same um, same paragraph. Then in, uh, internal style for the same paragraph and inline style for same paragraph. Then 
inline CSS, inline CSS will override these all types of CSS. Okay. Note if the link to the external style sheet is placed after the internal style sheet. Okay, in the HTML head section, then external style sheet will override the internal style sheet. Okay, if the link, if we will, we will provide the link in the in the okay CSS, okay, in the CSS or in the HTML, okay, for if we will use external style sheet after internal style sheet. If you provide an internal style sheet, then provide an external style sheet, then external style sheet will override the internal style sheet. Okay. This is all about the multiple style cascade in 201. Okay, CSS background. Uh, background properties are uh, used to define the background effect. Okay, of an HTML element. We define we define background property for background effect of an HTML element. CSS properties are used to define background effect. Okay, um, CSS properties used to define background effect are background color. We use background color, background image, background repeat for repeat. We use background repeat, background attachment for an attachment. We will use background attachment and background position. Okay, background images. The background images properties for an image to use use is the background of an element okay by default the image is repeated so it covers the entire element the background images for a page can be set like this okay body okay body image um, body and then uh, background image is to url um, paper.gif okay in this way you will is use background images let's um, let's do the practical of this open your HTML document then remove all this okay then remove this part okay okay for body body will use background background image okay image equal to URL okay URL images slash abc dot jpg okay control s go to your folder go to cs folder then in the images um, in the images add one dot jpg okay one dot here one dot jpg uh, go to your this and images slash rename this with one dot jpg okay control s then go to your browser then you will get here big images huge images okay then this is all about the uh, html or css images okay background images okay here this is the background images which is very huge okay then next background image repeat horizontally or vertically okay by default the background images uh, image property repeats an image both horizontally or vertically okay by default image in background image property repeats an image both horizontally and vertically for some images should be repeated only horizontally or vertically so they will look strange like this okay body background image this way i have already done this example if the image is repeated only horizontally repeat x okay the background will look better okay body background image we will use this background image then body repeat repeat x okay for only this horizontally we will use repeat x okay let's do okay, go and then add background repeat background repeat okay repeat equal to no repeat we don't want to repeat in our html documents okay this then this html document will not repeat okay 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 and then add here body then images okay no repeat here image size is very huge so use next picture okay next image rename this abc okay for abc.png control s then this this is the example of this this images okay images background images and 
no repeat means it, it won't repeat okay now for for horizontal repeat repeat x okay repeat x control s then go to your browser okay this will not repeat okay this is this will not if this will be in the horizontal okay so we'll use repeat x okay for vertically use repeat y yes. then inside this horizontally okay uh, or vertically okay now next one is next one is background images set position and no repeat okay when using a background images use an image that don't uh, does not disturb the text okay use images that does not disturb the text showing the image only once is specified by the background repeat property okay background images we use this images okay then background no repeat i have already uh, uh, i have already shown about this no repeat okay this will this will put the only one image here this side okay in the above example the background image is shown in the same class uh, same place is the text okay we want or change the position of the image so that it does not disturb the text okay if this uh, this background in repeat equal to no repeat then it will uh, it will uh, it will uh, it will kept or left in the one place so that the text will not affect it okay the position of the image is by the background position property okay body background image this img uh, underscore three dot png background repeat equal to no repeat background position equal to right top okay means it, it, it will be set in the right right top okay right top like this this is the html document okay then if you if you give this background image repeat equal to no repeat means and uh, background position right top means right uh, okay let's see in the example then next one is background position background position right right off okay then go to your browser then this is repeat y we use here no repeat no repeat okay then you will see the images here in the right corner okay now next one is shorthand property to shorten the code it is also possible to spy all the properties in one single property okay this is called a shorthand property with shorthand property for background is simply background okay when using the shorthand property the order of, of property values are background color background images background repeat background attachment and background position for example background is to uh, yes ff url images this and no repeat right top this 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 is the shorthand property okay here this ff means a color uh, one color okay that, that may be white okay i will show in the example okay and this this is the url this is the image and this is no repeat right top means you will get the exactly same as the uh, above example okay or uh, above example i'll show in the practical okay let's go, go, go to no 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 okay then remove this part then background certain properties so background this okay background only background background has f f f f f okay this is the f okay then url url okay mm, images abc.png okay this is images for then no repeat is no repeat uh, right top okay right top right top okay 
then go to your browser then you will see the exactly same like the above example okay now now about the grouping selector in style sheet there are often elements with the same style okay as one color green as two color green paragraph green okay to minimize uh, the code you can group selector okay separate separate each selector with a comma in the above exam exam in the example below we have grouped the selector from the code above okay as one as two comma as one comma as two comma paragraph then color green okay this this and this will identical okay they are same so uh, to to uh, to you uh, so to overcome this we will use this this is the easy and simple okay this this have the less less syntax uh, less in syntax so this is this is best way to write uh, the style to to style the document okay so this is known as a group group selector okay let's do the practical okay this is the so remove this body part okay now go to your body okay as one okay this is the then heading one as two this is the the reading two then paragraph this is the paragraph <coughs> to use the um, grouping selector okay we use here in the style as one comma as two comma paragraph then color color equal to red we use group selector for a same element okay for same style means here color red we will use the red color here 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 so that we will use here group selector okay control s then go to your browser then you will see the effect of the grouping selector okay now css border okay the css border allows uh, to specify how the border of box representing an image should like okay there are three properties of a border that can be changed border color is a color of border okay if you use um, border color then it specifies the color of border okay here border color example for example border color is to blue then they you will see the blue color border okay border style is specify whether a border should be solid dash line double do, double line or one of the possible value okay border border white is specify the white of the border okay let's go to your html document okay then remove this part okay then this is this part also remove remove this part also okay then in the body mm, paragraph okay then class example class e x a m p l e example one okay example one this is the x a m p l example example is swing all the borders in different colors okay then next one is paragraph next one is also paragraph this is the example 2 example 2 in green color okay green color okay control s save then in the internal css p dot paragraph dot example one e x a m p l example one then okay border 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 okay border one pixel solid 
solid solid okay then border bottom border bottom bottom border bottom color color go to has zero 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 nine nine zero zero okay less then next one is border top color top color okay the border top color equal to as ff zero 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 f zero zero okay that is the red color okay then next one is border left color border left Okay, go to left color three 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 as four three that is black color okay then next one is border no right color that is zero 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 cc okay that, uh, okay then for paragraph example to e dot example to example to okay border one pixel solid okay one pixel solid then border color border color green that is zero zero nine nine zero 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 nine okay let's go to rather then you you will see all the default value okay that is the here mm, okay also this also so that this is easy to see here okay here we use one pixel solid so we will see this border here okay in the border bottom color is green okay for for paragraph first border border is green okay and then border top color red border left color black okay this and border right color green uh, blue okay this then in the second example this one pixel solid so so that we will see the border here one pixel okay and border border color is green okay let's suppose here so this will be removed so that what we, you will see okay control s here border is missing okay so we will use border one pixel solid okay you can customize this okay now like in this way you will use border style okay for solid dash i have used solid about solid okay and border width specify the width of border okay you will you will do this practical yourself okay now next one is css test test can be manipulated using CSS property. The following are the text properties of an element. Color property is used to set the color of text. Direction property is used to set the text direction. Okay. Letter spacing property is used to add or sub subtract space between letter and make up a word. Word spacing, spacing property is used to add or subtract space between the word of sentence. Text align property is used to align the text of the document. I have already shown about this text align center property. Okay. Or right property or left property. Okay. Color color property is also I have already shown. That is color is to red. Okay. This is all about the text. Okay. Let's see in the example. Okay. Uh, this is the assembly page, so I have edited this page, remove this part, then 
I will remove this part only ok so that it is fast for me to show you in the exam ok mm -hmm. remove this part oh sorry 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 remove this Okay. Mm. Style. Style. Text line right. Style color. Color red. Okay. Glass. For this style. Text align. Center. Okay. For new text line center. Text line left. This is green color. Yellow. I will give you yellow to notice. Okay. Less. then go to your browser then you will see this example this is all about the css text okay here red color okay this is a line center this is a line in the left okay this is all about the css text to set the uh, css font to set the font of content in html using css the following font properties are used okay to set the font of a content in html using css the following properties are used the font family properties okay there are different types of properties here okay font family okay this font family properties is used to change the face of font okay to show the face of font we use font family font style okay font style is used to make the font italic or oblique you okay for italic we will use font style font variant Font variant properties used to create a small small uh, caps effect. Okay, font weight property. Font weight property is used to increase or decrease how bold or light a font appear. Okay, a font size property. Next one is font size. Okay, font size property is used to increase or decrease the size of font. Okay, font font only only the font property is used to shorten. Shorten means it is to give a shorten. Okay, shorten to specify number of other font properties. Okay, let's do the practical. Go to your HTML document then remove this part. Then what should we do? Paragraph. This is the error up one. Okay, 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 okay. Error up, error up in normal. Okay. Normal STYL style. Error up. In and normal class Okay, then go to your head section, then install. Okay, p dot p dot normal. Okay, then one font style font style font style normal. 
okay address then p dot italic p dot ta like see italic font style italic p dot this tag yes, okay. go to your browser then you will see this I have I have here class in this this three part okay this is the normal text okay so this is in the normal and this is this is in the italic so that this is in the italic style and this is in oblique u style okay this is all about font style okay next one is next one font variant okay we'll use here font variant normal for only normal normal part i'll decide doing this part this will make us confusing okay this these two part so that this okay then for normal one okay i'll use here one part that's it that is that is font variant okay font font variant font variant normal okay then here font font variant small cap plus Font, font parent, small caps. Okay, control S. Then you will see this example here. This okay. This is in the normal form. We will use doing this part. Here, this, this is in the. This is in the normal font variant, okay. This is in the small small caps. So this this types of text will be seen here. Okay. Now next one is font weight. Okay. We'll use here font weight. Font weight for this normal normal okay font width normal. Here in this example, font width, font width lighter. Okay, let's see the example first time. You will see this is in the. I will remove this part also. So font variance, okay. So that you will see the output. Uh, okay this is this is the in this is in the normal form and this is in the light lighter lighter okay now next i will use here one for bold okay so that you will see the example mm, p dot will be font width bold so you will see the okay this is this is in normal text this is lighter and this is bold that is the font weight okay now next one is font size okay we will use here font size okay so that you will you will see the example okay font size font size 40 pixel okay control s this is font with 30 pixel font size 30 pixel 30 pixel and this is bold for font width 14 pixel font font size 14 pixel that's okay go to your browser then you will see the effect that is 40 pixel that is 30 pixel and that is 14 pixel okay and this is all about the 
this is all about what css text okay now this is all about uh, css font now next one is css list okay list are very helpful in conveying a set of either number or bullet okay text and list are helpful in conveying a set of either number or bullet points okay there are five css property which can be used to control list okay the list style type allows allows to control the shape or appearance of the marker okay list style list style List style type, list style will will help to control control the shape or appearance of the marker. Okay, the list style position, list style position specify whether a long point that wraps to a second line should align with the first line or start start under beneath under beneath or start up of the marker. Okay, the list style image. Okay, the list style image is by image for a marker rather than a bullet points or a number okay list style so as a certain for the preceding properties okay preceding properties okay and the marker offset is by the distance between a marker and the text in the list okay let's do the let's do the practical okay let's do the practically okay i will remove this style part here to show the css CSS list okay list for body CSS list for body here this is the body part okay then you will you will then you will then style style equal to list list style type style type circle type circle okay oh type <laughs> this is either here list style type this circle okay this is this type circle they have two simple so I remove one then ally Math Math Science okay, Math Science Physics Okay, this is the list okay then next one C for copying okay couple B this is dx square okay. then next one will be decimal okay go to your browser okay this is the example of list okay CSS list this is a circle this is a square and this is a number okay decimal okay Okay, now like this list style type type okay list style position and list style image and list style and marker offset practical are same as this list style type okay so do this yourself okay now next one is css table the look of html table can be improved with css okay the following are the properties of the table used in the css css okay. um, border on the border collapse the border collapse is specify whether the browser should control the appearance of adjacent blood that touches each other or whether can a cell can be maintained its um, style okay this is this is the border uh, collapse okay Collapse properties okay and border spacing spacing is by the the white white that should appear between the table cell okay 
for a, for a width uh, appearance width appearance between a table cell will border spacing properties okay caption side caption side captions uh, are presented in the caption element okay we will use caption element to 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 give a caption okay empty cell empty cell is specify the whether the border should be shown if a cell is empty okay table layout allows table layout allows browser to speed up your layout of the table by using using the first width property it comes across for the rest of column rather than having to load the whole table before rendering it okay let's do that. go to your html document then remove this all part okay ul part then uh, table table for html table okay table yes plus One. Okay, then add a caption. Caption. Okay. Collapse. Collapse border. Example. Okay, then tier. Table row tier then in the tier okay td td or table data okay table description whatever you want to say class class a cell a cell a collapse example Yes. Control C. Control B. This is B. B. Then cell B collapse example B. Okay. Then. this okay then table table okay then read br for line break br okay this is for line break okay then caption add caption copy this control c control a Epson border or separate example. Separate border. Separate. C P C P A P A R A T separate example the border. Border example, okay. This is class A. Okay. Separate, okay. Okay, now this is all about table. This is table, table class two. Okay, now. In the style uh, now add the style here okay, in the style okay in the style in style game type type cs text slash css okay then okay table one tbn table dot one one
border collapse collapse okay then table 2 border border dash border dash collapse collapse separate okay control s then see in the browser okay this is the example okay now next one is rather td dot a and style good style dot it dot it ok border width width border width 3 pixel ok and then border color Model color add this brown, okay. Then padding, padding 10 pixel. Yes. Yes. Or yes. Or. See, it Let's see the example. Okay, this is the example of CSS table. Okay. CSS border collapse or separate okay this is the separate example so here is this is a separate okay this is a collapse so that here here two lines are collapse in in one another okay here is separate okay this is the example of border collapse or separate okay that is the CSS table now next one border spacing property okay for border spacing property we'll use here only use border spacing okay border spacing here border collapse okay border collapse width equal to here and use here border spacing spacing border spacing equal to 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel 50 pixel okay pixel less okay 10 pixel 50 pixel then in the above here border spacing border spacing equal to 10 pixel control s okay 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 then see in the example here this is the example of border border spacing okay here they here is a border spacing we use here in this example let's minimize this then in the, this example, I will use 10, 10 pixel and 50 pixel. Okay, here 10 pixel and this is 10 pixel and this is 50 pixel. Okay, okay, and here in this example, I have used 10 pixel. Okay, so that 10 pixel only. This is all about the CSS table. Now, next one is now the caption side property. Cap, caption side property. The caption side property allows you. We should have where the content of caption okay this caption this caption this caption properties allows you to specify where the content of caption element should be placed in the relationship to the table okay this is the caption here this is the caption and this is also caption okay 
Now the empty cell property. The empty cell property indicates whether a cell without any content should have a border displayed. Okay, this property can have only one of the three values. Okay, so hide or inherent. For so hide and inherent, we use empty cell property. Okay, table layout property. The table layout property is supposed to help you to control how a browser should render or layout a table. Okay, these properties can have one of three values: fake, auto, or inherent. Okay, CSS box model. CSS box model is a container which runs which contains multiple properties including border, margin, padding, and the content itself. Okay, CSS box model is a container which contains multiple values including border, margin, padding, and the content itself. It is used to create a design and layout of the web pages. Okay, CSS box model is used to create the design and layout of the web browser, browser web pages. Okay, it can be used as a toolkit for customizing the layout of different elements. Okay, the web browser render every elements is a rectangular box according to a css box models box model has a multiple properties in css some of them are given below border margin padding and content okay now next this is the this is the box model okay css box model here margin this is the margin section and this is the border section this is padding and this is a content okay here this is this is a padding this is border this is margin section okay explanation of three different parts okay content the content box of box the content of a box where the text and images will appear here in this content section okay the text and images will appear okay padding padding clears an area around the content okay clears the area uh, around the Content okay around this content okay the padding is transparent okay this is uh, padding is transparent border a border that goes around the padding and content okay border is um, border is, uh, border that goes around the padding and content okay this uh, both padding and uh, content the border is around this okay around this padding and content margin or clear and outside the border okay clear and outside the border the margin is transparent okay margin is also transparent okay now next okay okay now now we will see the example of css box model okay this is the simple html document now in the body part it deep html deep okay i am m box one okay then add here class class d1 d1 now d2 next one is d2 and i am box 2 okay control s then in the internal css okay this is for class selector so dot d1 d1 okay width width 300 300 pixel okay now height height 100 pixel then border oh, sorry border 1 pixel solid Okay, control s and then next one is deep to dot deep to width width 300 300 100 pixel okay then height height 100 pixel okay then adding adding 50 pixel okay pixel 50 pixel okay then border 1 pixel solid solid pixel solid Okay. Mm, then the output will be this. This is a box one. Okay. Oh, sorry. 
border is on teacher solid pixel solid okay then then you will see the example here this is the box one and this is the box two okay okay this is box one and this is box two okay now we'll do the complex example okay okay we'll do a complex example of this okay now remove this part remove this part also now go to your body section then add tip deep then class oh, sorry class class top or top okay then in the this div get another div div then class box one box one okay mm -hmm. box one then box one okay then div div class this is for mid okay and then here uh, this part div div box two class box two box two then div div class Middle, deep class middle, then deep class box three, okay. box three, this is box four, okay. Then box four, then deep, deep class, SNST, last, last box, okay. Then deep class. Deep class box five. That is box six. Okay. Then deep. Deep. Class last. Last. Last box, then deep class, deep class box seven, eight, okay. then control S. This open this close okay. okay now go to your style part okay then we'll use here dot top top for top one okay top class width width 100 pixel border border Top one pixel solid. Ok, 
ಇಷ್ಟು ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ರೈಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಉಳ್ಳಿ ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿಟಿ ರೈಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೋಲಿಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೋಲಿಡ್ ಸೋಲಿಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಡಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಲ್ ಮಿಡಿಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಡಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪಿಕ್ಸಲ್ ಪಿಕ್ಸಲ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡರ್ ರೈಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೋಲಿಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ದೆನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಡಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪಿಕ್ಸಲ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ 
Bucks. Seven with fifty percent. Left then border right. Border right. it padding on the pixel okay this is the long example okay Box eight, box eight. Let's fix the error. Okay, that is top box one, mid box two, middle box three, box four, as last box, last box, then last box, box five, box six, last box six. Okay. Then last box seven eight okay then box eight padding twenty pixel okay then box seven dot box seven width ninety percent floor left okay border right one pixel solid padding twenty pixel okay then last box dot last box width hundred percent ninety hundred percent give and the picture, uh, picture and then mm, then border is this okay then see okay 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 mm, this example produce output this okay this is the css table okay layout table layout okay box layout here this is I will show this example in with the code okay here this top this top this top size with 100% means this is full length okay uh, border top one pixel solid border right right one pixel and border left one pixel and border bottom one pixel okay then box one then then box one padding 20 pixel made 100 percent this okay then border one pixel solid this is okay in this way we develop our box box layout okay after that okay css display properties css display properties okay 
the display property is specified if how an element is displayed and the visibility property is specified if an element should be visible or hidden. Okay, display property is specified the element is displayed or not, or visibility property is specified the element should be visible or hidden. Okay, and hiding an element or display, okay, non or visible hidden. Okay, or hiding an element can be done by setting the display property to non. Okay, hiding for hiding, we, we we specify a property or property non okay the visible property to be hidden okay however notice that these two method produce different result okay visibility hidden hides an element but it will still take up the same space as before okay visibility takes same space as before the element will be hidden but it still affect the layout okay this yes one dot heading hidden visibility dot, uh, is to hidden okay this will this will also affect the layout of the document okay then display non non hides an element and it will take won't take up any spaces okay this this won't take any spaces okay the element will be hidden and the page will be displayed as the element is not there okay then yes one dot hidden display non okay this is all about the display Display CSS display block in line. Okay, here okay, okay, okay. Mm, CSS padding property. The CSS padding property are used to generate space around an element content. Okay, in, inside of an defined border. CSS padding property are used to generate a space around an element content inside of any any defined border the padding shorthand property sets all the padding property in one declaration this property can have uh, from one to four values okay with the css you have full control over the padding these properties are uh, properties for setting the padding for each side of an element top right bottom and left okay example set the um, padding of a p element okay Para paragraph element. padding 2 cm 4 cm 3 cm and same okay example padding 10 pixel 5 pixel 15 pixel 20 pixel this top padding this top here in in this example top padding is 10 pixel and right padding is 5 pixel top top right bottom left okay top right bottom left if if four value are given then this first one will be uh top then right then bottom then left okay uh, padding 10 5 and 10 pixel 5 pixel and 50 pixel okay top padding is 10 pixel right and left okay right and left will be 5 pixel then bottom bottom padding is 15 pixel okay and then next example here padding 10 pixel 5 pixel okay top and bottom padding are 10 pixel and right and left padding are 5 pixel padding 10 pixel if if the example is given with padding 10 pixel then all four padding are 10 this means that left will be four, 10 pixel right maybe right is 10 pixel top top and bottom also have 10 pixel okay negative value are not allowed it okay this is the css padding property i have already shown about this padding property in the examples okay so Let's move towards the next lecture. Okay, CSS margin. Okay, the CSS margin properties are used to create a uh, space around elements. Okay, elements outside of any defined bound uh, borders. With CSS, you have full control over the margin. Okay, there are properties for setting the mar margin for each side of an element. Okay, uh, top, right, bottom, and left. Then these four are the properties of the margin. I mean, CSS. CSS has properties for specifying the margin for each side of an element margin top margin right margin bottom margin left uh, this is also same as then this CSS padding properties so let's do the practical of CSS margin this is the simple HTML document okay then in the body part 8 paragraph P this is the paragraph okay then paragraph with p c a f a e d specified margin mm, then this is this with
एड क्लास है एड क्लास है एक्स ओके कंट्रोल एस देन गो टू योर स्टार्ट सेक्शन ओके देन पैराग्राफ पी और पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट वन ओके वी यूज बैकग्राउंड कलर बैकग्राउंड कलर ग्रीन कलर वाइट ओके देन पी डॉट एक्स मार्जिन टॉप मार्जिन टॉप फिफ्टी पिक्सल मार्जिन लेफ्ट हंड्रेड पिक्सल मार्जिन बॉटम हंड्रेड पिक्सल देन मार्जिन मार्जिन राइट मार्जिन राइट हंड्रेड पिक्सल बॉटम बटन में भी फिफ्टी पिक्चर ओके फिफ्टी पिक्चर कंट्रोल एस देन गो टू योर ब्राउज़र देन दिस इज़ द एग्जांपल ऑफ एग्जांपल ऑफ सीएसएस मार्जिन हेयर दे हेयर इन दिस एग्जांपल देर इज़ ओनली वी स्पाइड ऑफ कलर एंड व्हाइट ओके बट इन दिस एग्जांपल वी स्पाइड मार्जिन टॉप मार्जिन लेफ्ट मार्जिन राइट मार्जिन बॉटम ओके दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट द सीएसएस मार्जिन नाउ अबाउट सीएसएस फ्लोट ओके CSS float with CSS float an element can be pushed to the left or right allowing other elements to wrap around it float is very often used for images but is also useful when working with layouts how elements float elements are float horizontally this means that an element can only be floated left right uh, not up or down okay a float element will move as far to a left or right as Yes, it can. Usually, this means all the ways to left or right of the containing elements. The elements um, after the floating element will follow around it. The elements um, elements before the floating element will not be affected if an image is floated to the right or uh, falling text um, follows around it to a left. Okay, image float right. Okay, this is the example of CSS float. Floating next next to each other. If you place several floating elements after each other, they will float next to each other. If there is a room, okay. Here we have made a image gallery using a float property. Thumb thumbnail float left with 110 pixel height, 90 pixel margin, 5 pixel. Okay. Turning of float using clear. Okay. Elements after the floating elements will flow around it. To avoid this, use the clear property. Okay. If the element is um, floating after uh, after one another, then you, to avoid this, use the clear property. The clear property is by which side of an element or other floating elements are not allowed. Add add a text line into an image gallery using clear property. Okay, dot text uh, underscore line clear both. Okay. Now let's do the remove this part. Okay, then remove this part also. Okay, then image. In the body part, IMG image. Image. Image SRC. Okay. Yes, image slash one dot ABC. Shape dot PNG. Okay. Less. Then open the browser. Then you will see the picture here image. Okay, in the CSS. Okay, in the style. Okay, IMG for image. Okay, then 
front and float right if you if you write this code then the image will be disable in the right corner okay before this image tag before this image tag this this float in the left side after adding this this css properties okay then it will move towards right okay this is all about the css float you can use different types of css command like float width okay then css positioning relative positioning and absolute positioning okay you can you can learn about relative positioning and absolute positioning yourself okay now next jumps to the the position property the position property is by the types of position method used for an element there are five types of uh, five different position values static relative fixed absolute and static i have already told about relative and absolute this is this is a position property which is used to give the positioning of images or any text okay elements are are then positioned using the top bottom left or right properties however this property will not work unless the position property is set first okay they are they also work differently depends on the position value okay this is all about the position property now the css media css media query okay css media query a media query consists of media type and can contain one or more expression okay which resolves to each either true or false syntax for css media query okay at the rate media not slash um, only media type and, and expression okay then css code the result of the query is true if the specific media type matches the uh, type of device the document is being displayed on and all expression in the media query are true when a media query is true then the corresponding style sheet or uh, style rules are applied for the um, for following the normal squared rules okay media query simple example this is the simple example of media query on the way to use a media query is to have an alternative css selection right inside your style sheet the following example changes the background color to a light green if the port view is 480 pixel or wide or wider okay if the viewport is less than 450 the background color will be pink example at the red media screen and mean width 480 pixel okay body background color light green okay i'll see i'll 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 tell this in the example okay now this is the example example of media query here this is the simple html document okay here h1 is resizing the browser window to see the effect okay we have to resizing the browser window to see the effect p uh, paragraph the media query will be applied if the media screen is uh, media type type is a screen and the viewport is 400, 480 pixel wider or wider wider or wider okay here in the in the style body is body color is pink at the red media screen and the mean width is 480 pixel the color body background color will light green okay it will be light light green if the if the value of the screen is 480 pixel or more okay let's see the example let's go go to the html main html file okay this is the html okay now first of all add paragraph p if the if the screen size is less than 4 420 pixel then it will it will light light blue okay blue color or ELS is it will show
okay control s then go to air start section okay air body for body background color background color light light pink pink light pink okay then at the rate media screen media screen media screen the media screen and and max width 40 40 pixel okay 40 pixel then body then body background color light blue okay yes let's see the see in the browser okay this is this is this is the viewport okay viewport of browser okay here this is this if the if the screen size is less than 420 pixel oh, 420 sorry 480 then it will light blue color or else glow pink color okay then let's resize the, the viewport size into 480 pixel this won't work max size equal to um, 560 let's take 560 pixel okay then go to your browser then this won't work air um, mean width okay then control s then open your browser okay then, so this won't work why this won't work let's let's see the example okay if if the screen is screen is less than 560 pixel then then the body color will be light pink like this okay if the browser screen is more than 560 pixel then it will be light blue let's see Ooh, wow this is a light light blue okay this is the example of media query this is all about the css okay thank you for watching